Alright, y'all, we're back with episode three. I know y'all surprised I'm still playing this game. I'm very intrigued. The game has my attention. I'll continue to play. Finally. Well, if you guys enjoy, um, I will uh, continue doing every single thing. Every video, at least I can of these. Um, but for sure, uh, at least Time two videos are going to be working a little bit. Vamoose, this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what, you and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Dead <gasps> Oh, wow! Oh. Nice steering tech. Jinkies. <laughs> okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick. Too different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? I'm not going to that damn center route. You got me fucked up. We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. I'm, everyone's waiting for us. So I am part of isn't going to leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! A fucking squirrel? <laughs> I ran that motherfucker over in a heartbeat. Oh! Sorry, I'll do that shit quick. My girl here is on her way to ask me guy out for the first time, like, ever. Emma! I would have did it quick. Couldn't let her squirrel out of it. I am going to throw you out of the cart. I deserve that. I probably should have went the same. I don't know if I, I don't want to get scared, but if I get some clues, we could know. I, I should have took my ass there. Probably would have been important, but oh well. It is what it is. It is what it is. Alright. Dylan? Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> so which one is the one she like? Hey, Nick. Hey. Oh, so that's Nick. Okay. What did you like to know? Ignore her, please. One of them fucking each other. Why? Let's some go. ain't. Some ain't adding up. It's three women, three guys. Someone's beating them cheeks. Mister H locked them in the cabin already. They going cheat the cheat. Why keep out bears? Apparently. I ain't bring it. Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? How do you get a signal? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast? about you okay if anyone here had a podcast about them it'd be me yeah if there was a podcast called how to look and smell like a butt 
Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, really enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking, dumbass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, can we just please stop saying you the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Slow. It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, I'm nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Ah, I know that. Those that some gear. Hey, I forgot his name. What if our bags weren't locked up? What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags... Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. And, and what's this about the, ghost the stories? H of H's Q. The Hag of Hackett's quarry. I was just... <sighs> For Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. That nigga creepy. I can right Give now. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. I'm gonna be understanding. He look, he, he tried to piss him off. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. He probably got earwax in his weird and shit. <laughs> but I do feel like he has something to do. Let's see, he's a son or something. This ain't finna go well. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Yeah. Ain't none of my business. I should not want to use drop. What? Because kids are kids. You don't need to be so much with them. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. Is there an eye in this game oh, messed up? should I have? He's gone. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I, you I mean, dumb. I we were. what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just. Come on, it's sorry I pushed you out like that. How 
you you don't you ever see Adios hit a click? That's dumb. He he a little slow in the head. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you thought I should do? Right. You, you know, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus. You know, my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> Ryan, I told you to make sure everyone was ready. What happened? They don't really listen to me. I then you gotta to make them listen, bud. I can't. I mean... Shoot, no time to get their bags now. For real? I don't think the girls are gonna like that. We'll ship them along in a few days. So that so, makes me wonder, uh, I should have, like, what, what did it you... makes me wonder now, like, your decision does kind of impact the game. I probably should have broken to that goddamn, uh, cabin. Get You're one phone. of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. My bad. I'm sorry, Cole. Sorry. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Be a little slow. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. I'm getting some yeah. bad uh, vibes from this. Just stick to Kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. You had some, man. He know what he doing. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? I should have broken to that damn cab. It makes me regret it now. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. You've been in the same spot for 20 minutes. Right where I left uh -huh. him. Let's skedaddle. I'm gonna get good. And you're good now. Nah. Yeah, because, I mean, clearly, I mean, I guess it's a certain time frame, I'm assuming. You got to be in this damn cabin. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. This is your cabin, Jack. This is real good. I'm tired. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. Hey, what about our bags? 
uh, Emma, I'm going to have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, thing. no, I am not leaving without... It's the way it's got to be. Come on, Jacob, start her up. Oh, I forgot the dumbass took the damn thing. Oh, my God. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Yeah. That should be not. I wouldn't know fuck with it at all. I'm gonna get the hell up out of there. In the game. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. <laughs> I'll get you all on the road. Isn't it crazy? You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Why don't you just tell him? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. He ain't wasting no time. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside that we're not leaving until the morning are you kidding me um are you kidding me what are we supposed to do well we should go inside like he said we could go inside until morning yeah or or we could do something else No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. Can he die first? P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. No. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. Dude, he was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. Yeah, we, I, 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 I'm a party. I'm sorry. 
You made me promise. Dude, he won't even know. I don't know. There, no, no, dude, we get it, all right? You don't want to disappoint Daddy. I'm defensive. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris <laughs> told me to do. Man, come on, man. Wait. Hey, man, my nigga Ryan. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. I hope they all get slaughtered. I really do. I hope they all get slaughtered. Oh, brother. Getting good. Getting good. I'm pretty sure it's probably the end of chapter one. I'll probably just introduce you to everybody. Um, I don't want to end this episode. It's getting good. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Empty handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I, I can didn't fucking find shit. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. I couldn't find them. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. You ain't lying, Not bitch. For those with a story to tell, be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. I couldn't find shit that bitch was talking about. I guess I'll look more thoroughly next time, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like that was kind of the end of that chapter, so. Um, at the right time, chapter one's complete, so I'm assuming we're going strictly into the truth of dare. So um, I do appreciate you guys. We got 21 minutes. That should be a good enough episode. Um, I'll probably come back tonight, get some more episodes for you guys tomorrow. Love you boys, man. I'm out. Peace.